Schwarns eat and and the uh, and the uh, Sikh community has given me is is a respect of of their ability to see wisdom in the traditions of others and to know that all true wisdom is of God. And so I'll share some things that that come from my tradition and and hope that there's wisdom in it. The first is that there can be no closure without forgiveness. With forgiveness, it opens your heart to love somebody. Love doesn't mean that you allow people that you love to get away with things that are bad or evil. If we have children who misbehave, we stop their misbehaving. But we do it in love, which allows us to act freely instead of out of hate or vengeance, which restricts our actions to those that cause equal pain. We are all one people, and that humanity seems to be united in suffering under itself, whether it be the Greeks under the Turks, whether it be the Russians under the communists, whether it be the Catholics under the Protestants, whether it be the Protestants under the Catholics, whether it be the Chinese under the Japanese or the Japanese under the Chinese, we all have suffered injustice to one another, whether it be here in America, the blacks who, who didn't even make it over here but died on slave ships. We all suffer under one another. But if we demand an eye for an eye, then we fail. We become what we hate. We become tyrants the moment that we become powerful. And so I would ask to remember forgiveness and to remember that in times of trouble, in times of persecution, that is when the light of God shines brightest in those few who embrace him. We remember not only the deaths of those at the Golden Temple, but their lives, how they shared God with one another. We celebrate that at the same time we mourn their loss. But we also celebrate not only them, but those brave Hindus, those brave Indians who saved Sikhs during the persecutions, during the pogroms, during the massacres, those who refused what their government told them to do. We thank God for everyone who was brave enough to love their fellow man. So in that, in the hope that forgiveness can bring peace and justice and love, I pray these words, may the Lord God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Amen.